Hey friends! I feel like I look weird because I haven't gotten ready or like put my makeup on in a few days. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love Ana Luisa. I wear their jewelry almost every day. They have so many amazing staples that you can wear all the time and I think a lot of their pieces are so classy and timeless. I find myself always gravitating towards their jewelry, towards their website. They also have a lot of really unique pieces that I haven't seen on other websites. And and something I've always stood behind is how they make their jewelry. They're just a really sustainable um, company using recycled materials, which I've always loved. Um, and not to mention the pieces are just freaking cute. Uh, today I have on this little heart pendant and it's got a little stone in the middle i think that this necklace is so perfect for layering you guys know i layer my necklaces every day and this is the perfect length so dainty and cute i love really thick um necklaces and thin necklaces and uh thicker and thinner rings all together and then also for when we're out of quarantine and can go back out these hoops that I think are just so amazing. They're a little on the bigger side, but I think it's perfect for going out or even like out to dinner or something. Um, your hair up like this and really make a statement or your hair down and these just peek through your hair. I think that these look so expensive when really big hoops are so thin, they start to like lose their shape and not look like a circle anymore. You can just tell they're cheaper or somebody needs to invest in a new pair. These ones just look so luxurious and expensive and Ana Luisa just has really great prices for the quality that they're offering. So Ana Luisa is doing a Mother's Day sale right now and I know right now it's just weird times but we have to say thanks and show appreciation to those we love and however we can right now and I think anyone's mom would love getting um, some jewelry like this. Uh, I'm going to give my mom hers right after this video because I'm going to give it away but I, I got my mom this little heart necklace too. I thought it was so cute. And my mom loves hearts. With that, let's get in the video. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys some really, really, really easy thrift flips. I don't even know if you would call these flips but these are some things that I always do to my clothes or um, right now being in quarantine and trying not to spend money on new clothes. I am kind of like reshopping my closet so I'm looking at pieces that I don't wear as much as I used to and I'm thinking if I change this up a little bit I think I'll wear it a lot more. Um, I think that's such a great thing to do. You can go thrifting in your own closet. Just um, shop your closet and change it up a little bit. So this is a no sew thrift flip. Um, I still don't know how to use a sewing machine and that's something on my list of things to do to learn in quarantine but the sewing machine is currently at school so for all of you who can't sew like me you're in luck we're getting a no sew fifth flip let's show you what you'll need okay so here's everything i found out of my closet that i want to show you how i'm like thrift flipping or just how i style to fit my body um when going thrifting i think that's such a big thing is We'll find pieces and it's really hard to make adjustments or tailor kind of things um, to fit us. So the first thing I'm going to show you, which a lot of people ask, is how I get these pants to fit my waist. So when I'm telling you guys that like this, th some of these flips are like dumb easy. They're dumb easy, but I've gotten questions about it. So I want to show you. I'm trying to find a better angle. So these pants, they are too big on me and I don't think they're supposed to be high-waisted so I'm keeping my shorts on but I'm gonna put this up when I put these on if they were fitting normal they'd be down here and I think if I wore them low-waisted they would fit actually I know they would fit so let me show you that okay so when you put them on your waist where they're supposed to go, these fit. And I don't mind pants fitting like this, but I, when I envision these pants to like look cute on my butt and stuff, they're high-waisted. 
So you can find these kind of tailored pants literally everywhere at the thrift store. They have them so many places. But if you want them to be that Reformation tailored, high-waisted, long, straight leg trouser. With these pants, I got really lucky that the clip is one of those hook latches. So this hooks on here. So all I did for these pants to make them fit is they're going to have to stay unzipped. But I got inspiration from those Goldie jeans that are overcrossed. I'm going to pull them up to my waist where I want them. Overcross them. And this little hip, or hip, this little clip, slide on clip, I'm going to slide to fit on the pocket. And then we adjust. And now they are that overcrossed on the waist fit pant. And I understand that not every pant is going to have this type of clasp situation, but honestly, so many of these trousers clasp like this because they don't normally have a button on front. But if you do have a button on front, you're not looking to resew a button or any of that stuff. You can just use a safety pin, cross your pants over. Go from the back. You guys know how to use a safety pin, right? I'm just gonna show you how it can work. Go over. And it's the same exact look. You would just have a button right there. So I think this is such a great way to get your pants to fit. Find a cheaper dupe for so many of the really cute pants right now while not having to know how to sew or completely restructure a pair of pants. The next one I'm going to show you that is literally so easy um, is this green little top that I talked about wanting to cut and crop because I didn't like the length of it. But I got really freaked out because there's a zipper that goes down the part I've cut across. And if you cut like in the middle of the zipper, the zipper's never going to work again. It's going to completely unzip and rezip, and the thing will fall off. So I was so stressed out about ruining that. I'm going to show you guys how I kind of fix this top without cutting or sewing or anything. So here's the top with no adjustments. You can tell it hits me at a really awkward length because it's not like it's supposed to be a top. It's a lingerie, little dress thing. Um, so it comes with these ties in the back that you're obviously supposed to just, you know, tie and let hang. But because they already have such long ties, I figured, so what I do <laughs> is I bunch it to where I want it to be. So I would like it at this length, right where it hits my pants line. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with these, but this is a good outfit to show you everything. So I bunch it up and I bring all of the fabric back like that. And then I'll take the two uh, ribbons it comes attached with and I will tie around this and then I will pull it down tight and then once you have the two ribbons on the side you'll just make a knot on the top of or a bow on the top of it and it's just like more fabric back there but this is such a simple way to make this into a crop top and I don't have to cut it because what if down the line I want it to be long? I don't know, what if this length of top is in style? I'd be really upset if I cut it or if I ruined it. So the fact that you can just tie it back like that and I think it adds something cute, something different. Um, some people might not like the way that looks but I really don't mind it. And it makes my life a lot easier. So. That is the second one. I swear the other ones are a little more in depth than this. This is really just how I get thrift store clothes to work for me. Um, it's not really a flip. They're not turning into new items. It's how I get them to fit my body without causing a lot of stress. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you another one. Um, and this is actually something from my closet that I've just repurposed. Okay, I'm gonna just keep the sports bra on because it's easier. The next thing is this little cheetah print midi skirt that I got from Forever 21, I think last year. 
And I loved this midi skirt, but I've realized I really like midi skirts and midi dresses with a slit in them now. They're just a lot more comfortable to me. And everybody has the midi, the cheetah print midi skirt, so I felt kind of like, I don't know, weird wearing it. But I'm going to show you guys what I do to it now to wear it and what I wear, or how I wear it, and I actually like it. I think it's really cute as a midi skirt too, but... So let's slip it on over my biker shorts. Here's the skirt before. Like cute, whatever. Been there, done that, seen it before. And all I do for this flip <laughs> is I take whatever side I'm feeling like that day and I just kind of bunch up the fabric like this and then I'll take a safety pin And I will go from the inside of the scrunched fabric. And since this is from Forever 21, I don't mind sticking a safety pin through it. And we'll go up and back in and pin it. So you can mess with this like a hundred different times. Um, I think I'm going to make it a little higher. I actually wore this to Lollapalooza last year like this. And I got so many compliments on it. I think that this is such a cute way of just adding something to the skirt. I feel like it looks a lot more expensive this way. And it's just a Forever 21 skirt that I'm pretty sure was around $12. So, I love how this one looks. You can do this with any type of mini skirt that doesn't already have a slit in it. Um, and I think there's so many skirts at Salvation Army and the thrift store and Goodwill or on like Depop and Poshmark right now that have skirts like this and you could really change up the entire look. This is also just something even if you do like the skirt as a midi skirt um, when having these kind of statement pieces I know I can feel like I will have worn it once everyone's seen it in me it's such a statement piece like it looks like I've already worn that outfit but changing things up a little bit like this really does make it look like a whole new skirt so yeah. Now let's get into something with a little more substance. We're getting out the scissors. Okay, so this is just a thermal I've had in my closet for a really long time now. I realized that it's really long and is almost like a dress on me. So I don't reach for it that often because I feel like it can look really bulky with jeans or leggings. Um, I just don't like that look. So I decided that I'm gonna cut it and I'll wear it so much more. I love this piece. So this is a super basic thrift flip, but I figured I'd go through my closet and show you guys everything I changed. So let's show you guys the before. Just super big, basic, and I think I'm gonna crop it like pretty short. So I'm gonna actually add <laughs> the safety pin again and mark where I want it cut. And always go longer first. And you can make more, take more off. This is just to get an idea for when I take it off where I wanted it. Now I'm just going to lay it out. And something I've found really easy is just to line it up on the floor with something straight and cut across that. So I'll show you guys. Like this, I've lined it up with this rug. And that is a straight line. So I'm just going to cut this. You should use fabric scissors that I don't have. And probably not do it like this. But I'm going to just go right above the safety pin. Or I'll go right below it. On the line. This is just a super easy way when you have zero actual resources. I always have trouble getting started. <laughs> this is me like trying to get my scissors to work and then we've got a straight line the rest of the way. <laughs> but I don't think you'll be able to tell. Let's try it on. I love it. I think this turned out so cute. Um, I'm going to be wearing it so much more now that it's a little cropped thermal. Um, and I'll be keeping this fabric because this is a freaking lot of fabric. What I'm going to do with this yet. If you have any ideas what I should do with this thermal.
fabric, let me know. I will be saving it. Okay, so last thing before we get into the really fun stuff. You guys know I have so many of these little wife beaters. So I was thinking like, how can I spice this up? I'm gonna try it on first. I'm gonna leave my bra on right now because it might get risky. So this is like the wife beater everyone has <laughs> in like their closet or their dad's closet. And I am just gonna crop it and cut it. And then I might add a little cut here like so it's, you know what I mean? Jelly bean, I don't know. I have, a, I have a lot of these though, so yeah. I'm just gonna cut it and crop it the same way I did that last shirt. I know this isn't really that exciting, but I wanted to do it, so I figured I'd just add it in this video. And there's this one, super cute, super easy. I figured I didn't have to show you guys me cutting it again. And I'd probably wear a different bra under it, obviously, cause you can see it. But um, this is just such a tank top, but I will throw on all the time. So we've all seen <laughs> everywhere people coming out with tie-dye everything and something that I've always loved, not always, something that I've been loving out of this trend is the bleach tie-dye on black. So I have three little shirts that I don't wear that often. I have a plain black, a plain black crew neck. I already have another plain black crew neck I like better and always lean towards so I figured if this one looked a little different um, I'd wear it more. I have this plain short sleeve black t-shirt I literally got for 99 cents at CVS because one time I didn't have a shirt to wear. <laughs> and then I have this Beams sweatshirt, or what? This champion t-shirt uh, that says Beams on it and this is actually my brother's but he gave it to me. I hope he doesn't mind me tie dyeing it. So what you need for this one is rubber bands to twist up your shirts. And then also bleach. Um, this is lemon scented bleach. It's probably from like the dollar store. I don't think it matters. Bleach is bleach. Um, I did not watch any videos on how to tie dye. I've tie dyed before. I don't think this is any different, right? So I'm gonna wrap these up and then do the bleach outside. Like, are you not supposed to just dump bleach outside and you're not supposed to dump it in your bathtub or like shower? Will the bathtub fall through the ceiling like in Breaking Bad? I don't know. I'm going to ask my dad where he, I'm allowed to use this bleach. And then he'll probably tell me don't do that. And then I'll say, I'm doing it. Everyone bleaches in their bathtub on TikTok. I'm bleaching in my bathtub. I'm not going to tell my dad. He'll just watch this video and be mad to me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening. Okay, let's figure out how we're going to tie these up with rubber bands. Okay, I'm going to start off with the little 99 cent t-shirt because I feel like the smallest one will be the easiest to work with um, just because it's less material. So let's get out a few rubber bands. I have all different shapes and sizes of rubber I mean, not really shapes. All rubber bands are circles. I'm going to do the basic tie-dye method, which is just starting in the middle of your shirt and twisting and then you finish it off like that and then you will just take rubber bands around it this one's a pretty big rubber band so that will go twice but most of the time they just go once yeah like that and see how I'm just kind of like pancaking it? So you just want to make sure when you're twisting it, all the pieces go the same direction. Uh, something I've realized with tie-dyeing when I would do it when I was m little is that you're going to always add more dye or more bleach than you think. Like it's going to look like your entire shirt's just going to be the color you're dumping on it, but it won't. Um, that's not how it works out. Ever, which never made sense to me. How great is it that tie-dyeing is, or a tie-dye pattern is trending right now that we can all do it at home so easily. So this is my first little one that's ready for bleach. Next, I'm gonna do the bigger t-shirt. And I really just like the pinwheel design. I know there's other designs that are probably cool. You can do like a double pinwheel. Should I try that? Should I try that? <laughs> I'd have to look it up, wouldn't I? Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try a double pinwheel. I think you just go at the same time like this. 
No, I don't like it. And you don't have to do right at the center. So like this one, I'll do down here. And we get that same little pancake and you start wrapping. Okay, and there's our last one. So we have the three pinwheels done. Now we're just going to tie-dye. And we'll come back tomorrow to see if this worked. Because I'm pretty sure we have to let them dry overnight. My mom's going to be mad I used bleach for this and not take a look at the coronavirus. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey friends, it's the next day. I look different because I have no makeup on, but look how rude it is being outside. Are you kidding me? So I, <laughs> I decided like now, it's like one o'clock the next day, um, to look up how to bleach. <laughs> how to bleach, like tie-dye bleach. All of it says you were supposed to mix bleach, half bleach, half water. Didn't do that. Also said don't leave it on your garments for more than 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's been, so let's start. Okay, I'm gonna cut off all the rubber bands. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking that the shirt could handle this. Ooh, cute. I might crop this one, but I'm gonna wash it first. Um. I know a lot of people on TikTok, they always say like when people are washing their bleach shirts alone that they're wasting water, but if you wash your other clothes with something bleached like this, it can ruin your other clothes. So I will be washing these alone. <laughs> these are so cool. Oh my god, that one is so cool. Oh my god. Granny's gonna freak out. Also, look at what I'm wearing. The thing I DIY yesterday, and I haven't worn it in months. Last one. See, this one turned like brown, and those ones are orange. Oh my god. This literally looks like the Urban Outfitters one. Holy guacacoli. These are so cool. Awesome. I'm going to go throw these in the wash by themselves so they don't ruin my other clothes. And then I'll try them on for you once they're all washed. So let's show you guys. They're still a little damp because my dryer is just poo-poo. These little shirts, I have a bunch of them now from Getty's. It's a local um, Detroit brand and they just have really good morals and ethical ways of making clothing. Um, it's slow fashion and I really stand behind everything they have. I actually have a discount code with them. It's just Laney15. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. They just gave me a code for you guys. So if you want to shop really nice basics like Brandon felt these and I have a hoodie too. They're just really nice quality and they have a lot of really nice colors. Um, I just got a bunch of like neutral color t-shirts and I've been throwing them on with everything recently. But I'm going to keep it on under when I try these on. We'll start with the little t-shirt. So I might cut this one and crop it. Let's see what we think. <laughs> yeah, baby. So this is a shirt I never wore. And now I feel like I'm going to wear it all the time. I used to wear it where I would just tie the front. And I think I'm going to keep doing that. I'm not going to cut. So I just pull the front to stretch it out. And here's how the first one turned out. I think this is so cute. <laughs> the lighting's better in Jackson's room. Um, here's the crew neck. This looks exactly like one off Urban. That's literally Urban Renewal, so they take vintage crew necks and bleach tie-dye them. The back, oh my god, this one's so cool. I really like the pinwheel, like, up 
in the corner. I thought I wasn't going to like that, but, um, yeah. And isn't it crazy how much I, how much bleach I dumped on these and it's still so sparse for, like, what it is. I thought it was going to bleach the whole thing. Oh, yeah, the back's cooler. I think I dumped the back better, but I freaking love this. This outfit, so cool. Okay, last one. The one that everyone thinks is the coolest because it's orange, but I kind of like the brown bleach. Look at this one. This one looks so good too. Super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing these little thrift flips. Um, I have a few more things that I've thought of since editing this first half of the footage. Um, so if you guys want to see another thrift flip video, let me know. I have another Instagram at home video coming. I'm just waiting until it's not snowing outside because a couple of the pictures are meant for outside and the weather has just been either completely gray and cold or snowing. So I'm waiting for this to pass and then I'll get that out. Um, and leave any other video ideas down below of what you want to see. I can pump out content like no other now because it's my last week of school and I just have like two, three more papers to write and then I'm done forever. Crazy. But make sure you guys check out Anna Luisa. I will leave their link in my description box. Still rocking their pieces. And I hope you guys are staying safe and all that good stuff. I love you all so much. You mean the absolute world to me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you whenever I post. Bye. <laughs>